plaintiff, Jerika Webb, worked with the defendant, and she admits they were both fired for being tardy. Jerika claims after a falling out, the defendant accused her of being a prostitute and filed a false police report against her for assault, so she's suing. Defendant Aluwatoyan Akin Famiwa says Jerika is simply trying to rewrite history because she's embarrassed that Aluwatoyan stopped talking to her. Aluwatoyan is countersuing for harassment. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, uh, just so you know, Your Honor, I am completely aware at how um, childish this story may sound, but this is the type of person that we're dealing with here. So um, I met Alua to, like, at the end of last year because we both worked at the same bar. Um, we became friends and started hanging out only because we both got fired from our last job for the exact same thing, which was being tardy. So um, while we were in the process of getting fired, I Why couldn't said, you make it to work on time? It's <laughs> a good question. <laughs> good question. How about you? Did you get fired for being late? I was fired for being late, but she was being she was fired for being late and for having a huge attitude problem. All right. Why couldn't you make it to work? I, on time? you know, I'm trying to work on it. It's just something. It's a chronic problem. I, I admit I have a problem, but I've gotten much better. I've gotten much better. So, what are you doing that makes you late? Um, you know, I just won't wake up on time, stuff like that, you know. <laughs> Hit the snooze too many times, stuff like that. Okay. Um, but I'm I've, been, I've been much better lately, so. You getting drunk every night? No, or? no, no, absolutely not. Well, why can't you wake up? You play video games? I worked games? all the time. I'm always tired, you know, so. I know we no, don't you work. don't work all the time. Well, I do now. I have, I have three jobs currently, yes. Go ahead. Well, so when we got fired, she went to the owner while in the process of getting fired and lied on two of the managers and said they were selling drugs and drugging people at the bar. This is coming from them. Like, I have no reason to make that up. So um, moving forward, me and her hung out sometimes. And one incident in particular, we went to a club and a girl's name came up that we both know. And I just told her, like, this girl isn't like, your friend, like how you think she is because you guys think you're best friends. And I know for a fact that she, she doesn't think so. So she starts crying in the club, making this entire scene. And like, I made sure she got in a cab to go home. And that was that. So moving forward, uh, one day we were both um, at work and we were both on break um, from work for like an hour. Um, we decided to go across the street to the bar that one of the managers from, that she lied on works at as a bartender. And he refused to serve her. And he was going to serve me. Out of courtesy for her, I declined a drink, told the guy sitting at the bar that we both knew, like, um, hey, tell her I'm going to get my phone and going back to work because she went to go get the manager on him. And we only had an hour break for work. So I went back to work and she comes to where I'm working and gets all in my face like, you abandoned me, you're a flip flopper, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, whatever, like, I'm not dealing with drama anymore. So I stopped speaking to her. But later on when that was night. That? Uh, this happened at the end of April. Okay. So later on that exact same night, she starts texting the girl and harassing her the exact same way she did me, calling her all types of names, um, harassing this girl to the point where the girl had to block her to get her to stop. So let me hear from you, man. Yeah, sorry. There's just so many lies. I just mm -hmm. don't even you like tell me know. the truth. Then. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. So. <laughs> So basically, um, yeah, so I never lied to any of our prior managers. We did have almost all of our managers were involved with doing cocaine and stuff like that every day. That's why they loved her so much, because she does the same thing as well. And one of them did buy Lies. drugs that's, all the time. That's, that's why defamation you what so much? Again. That's why they got along so well. Her oh. and her managers, because she does cocaine with them you can all the right time. Now. And I've seen it, because I was there. I don't, I don't do any drugs, so sir. Yes, you I just do. Drink. You carry weed around with you in your bag. Let so. her finish, man. Okay, <laughs> so like I was saying, 
No, I don't. Liars. Okay, so like I was saying, um, one of the managers, uh, and I, when I, on the way out, a manager lied on me, saying I was later than I was. So I got fired because of him. So I told the owner in the same, same meeting where he was firing me, uh, you, know, you know, I respect your decision, sure, thank you, but just letting you know, you should check into your management because they're doing these things. You could check the cameras as well. He's like, thank you, I'll look into that. A couple weeks later, when we're working at our new job, um, then I'm hearing from him um, when he starts screaming at me, in this bar that we went to for uh, during our hour break, which mind you, I did not even want to go over to him mm -hmm. and my other floor manager because we were what on happened? break. He, he started, he started yelling screaming at, you. at me. Yes, Drew kind of made me go over there, and he started screaming at me, and I was like, "Excuse me!" And he told me About that what? allegedly I had said to the owner of our past place, I, I had told him that he tried to drug servers, and I told him that's absolutely a false. I tried told to him drug the former server. servers, and he was mm -hmm. a manager at the same establishment. I said that's absolutely not true. I told him you sell, you sell, you know, you buy Adderall pills off of the regulars that come in there and exchange free beers for that, and that you do cocaine with everybody, a lot of the servers. You know, that's what I told him. <clears throat> she, he was screaming at me. I was like, listen, I'm not going to argue with you, so I went to go get ma management about it. She was laughing the whole time, smirking like she was enjoying it. By the time I turned around and was finished talking to management, she walked out and completely abandoned me. I was shocked because she had never done anything like that to me before. She could at least waited by the door if she wanted to be involved. So when we no, got back I'm to sure work, she doesn't. You are around here accusing the manager of using exactly. cocaine and all the employees. Well, you want to stand there and say, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, I, no, no. For by all means, if you don't feel comfortable, whether they were involved, doing it or not, I would have said she crazy. And mind you, this exactly. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. The same person yeah. that she's singing praises about, she hated as well because he also helped get her fired because she cursed him out the, her last shift there, mm -hmm. which is also why part of the reason why she got fired. So now she's trying to make it seem as if they're best friends, which is fallacy. I never said anything so anyway, like when we got that. back to my job, sir, I didn't get in her face because I don't do that. I work. I know how to conduct myself. Mm -hmm. I told her politely, like. Listen, I don't agree with what you did back there. I would never do that to you, and that just wasn't right. And then it was me who decided that was the last straw from her because I had been dealing with disrespect from her prior for a couple of weeks. Now since the last straw, I just stopped talking to her cold turkey. And I felt this is where this is coming from. She's embarrassed about it and trying to rewrite history about what actually happened. The defamation is specifically, yes. which, uh, which uh, statements do you consider defamation? Uh, so I have text messages from her. Um, what she started, she calls me a prostitute in the mm -hmm. messages. Uh, she calls me a coon. Um, she goes on to say I'm ungrateful. She got me the job, but it was an mm -hmm. open call. So, how so did far, the, the prostitution is the only thing actionable for defamation. So. Okay, prostitution, she lied to the police. She went and filed a pos false police report claiming assault. I never touched her. I never came up to what her. What was the result of that investigation? Nothing happened, but it's still a lie. Let's go back to the actual defamation claim. Who did she share that with? Uh, she told people at our former job that. Okay. And she also told me this. All right. Did you tell people at the job she was a prostitute? Our job? No. All right. You it's have fine. any evidence that she did? Um, well, I know because one of the girls that worked there. You have any the evidence that she mouth. told another person? No. Okay. Well, oh, that's what you have to have to prove <laughs> defamation. But yeah. I also mm -hmm. have, but I have evidence based on that um, mm -hmm. police report that mm -hmm. she went and lied to them. Okay. Claiming harassment. Let me see that. Um, did you lie to the police about some incident? No, sorry, I did not. I would never do such a thing. That's preposterous, and I could get in very large trouble for doing something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she gave me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought about yeah, have a good day, here, man. 5000 for counterclaim for harassment. How does he harass you? I'm Correct. sorry. I understand. Your I know y'all. This is, this is, I have more No, you handed me that saying that because that, I what can't. that said. It's the, it's it says the, nothing. It says assault up here on the Let's sheet. see. It and there's a report, assault. though, a report. But I can't get it because it has her information. Well, you said this was a report, man. That's this is I, just a name. I got that Your claim is dismissed. Have a good day. You I tried got... to perpetrate a fraud. This has nothing to do with a report. It All this it. does is have your name no, and an assault. Bye-bye. Now you're getting there. contemptuous. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. Yours is granted. Contempt of court. It's you don't it's behave it's that way with a judge. You don't behave that way with a judge. That's how she always acts, America. you dumb Sucks to suck, man. I don't know what to tell you.